A little disclaimer before we begin. The video you are about to watch is mostly just me talking, so feel free to put it in the background. I'd love for you to do your own thing with my voice somewhere close by. Let's begin. Hi guys, my name is Zhenia, this is my dog Nila. I'm an artist, originally from Russia, but I live in Berlin since 2016. Recently I decided to do my YouTube channel mainly in English, so <laughs> now I want to properly introduce myself, so you will have an idea who I am, why I am here, and why you need to stay with me. Actually, maybe you don't, but in case you want to stay here and be with uh, me in my artistic journey, so welcome here in my life, in my channel. On my life, in my life, on my channel? Is it on? In? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's start with my story. I was born in 1988 in Moscow, former Soviet Union, now Russia. Here is my parents, Irina and Alexander. They still live in Moscow, but I really want to have them here. My art journey started in early childhood. I used to draw everywhere, on every piece of paper or wall. <laughs> and when I was nine, my parents decided to, to bring me, bring, to put me. Uh, they offered me to visit <laughs> um, art school for children. So of course I said yes. In a high school, I was more into theater, photography and journalism, and actually haven't had a plan to Yeah, I just checked the word. So in high school I was more into theater, journalism, photography and I haven't had... Can connect my life with art? Can... Could... Two hours later. So in a high school I was really into the theater, photography and journalism and I haven't had an idea to do professionally drawing or be a professional artist. After finishing the school I had a gap year, actually it was two gap years. I used to work as a secretary and started to be kind of freelancer graphic designer. I had some skills in Photoshop and Illustrator and I was like, hmm, what can I do with those skills? Can I earn money with it? I could. So I spent two years doing graphic design as a freelancer and working full-time as a secretary. And after that I finally decided my career path and chose um, a university for me. The next six years I spent at the university studying graphic design. It was six years not because I was lazy, but because of the... Um, <sighs> yeah, I need to Google it again. The next six years I spent at university studying graphic design not because I was lazy, but um, because of educational system in Russia. As an artist we needed to spend six years of our life studying anatomy, painting, drawing, technical drawing, illustration, project management, so really a lot. So maybe six years for graphic design is too much, but it is what it is. <laughs> I like my education, even though I needed to spend like six years studying from early morning till 4 or 5 p.m. While I was studying, I was actually never stopped doing graphic design. So when I finished, I was like kind of experienced graphic designer, so I easily found a really great job. So I used to work as a graphic designer. designer. <laughs> so I used to work as an illustrator and graphic designer in a small gift studio or present studio, I don't know how to explain it, so we, um, we made a corporate gifts. I know that is not so common in Europe or USA, but in back in Russia it was <laughs> um, a really great um, opportunity to use my skills and um, create really great designs, packaging, gift cards, even a really cute pillows. <laughs> I was mostly happy working in this company, but shortly after graduation I started to dating with my husband and uh, then we got married and he kinda knew that I really wanted to do my own project, so he just 
gave me a um, green light. So he basically said, uh, do what you want to do. I will always support you and uh, yeah, try what you want. And our business, please, education, yeah. So I quit my job and started my own webshop with uh, my designs, with uh, gift cards, posters and also with pillows. And I continued doing it till we decided to move to Berlin. I think it was 2016, 2015. I was really happy with my life. I started teaching calligraphy and lettering. I worked with a web shop and collections, designs. With all the activities around my web shop, I uh, shortly became kind of popular on Instagram. I actually never gave up my freelance graphic designer job as well. My clients were really happy with me. <laughs> so I thought I was on top. But it all was a but, right? I really wanted to move to Berlin. So my husband, Ilya, he was working in IT and he, <laughs> he supported me again. He said, yeah, okay, let's, let's move to Berlin. So, and we started the moving process um, late 2015. My uh, husband found a job here in Berlin and I was thinking like, mm, okay, I will continue what I, I was doing in Moscow. Uh, I was too optimistic. <laughs> Yeah, we, we moved here in January 2016. I closed my web shop, I leave my part-time job as a calligraphy and art teacher. And I started from scratch. The next two years were really tough for me. <laughs> I really wanted to live here, but I, I wasn't prepared for the, actually for the new life. I wasn't prepared at all. I started with German, then I started to work with with Microstock, with Microstock websites. So the websites like Shutterstock and Creative Market. I tried to do online courses, but most of the time I was sad. I was really missing my family. I wasn't happy with my life at all. But I started painting again. Um, when I finished my painting course uh, at university, I was like, oh no, I will never ever do painting stuff again. This oil colors never ever. And then here we are, I'm a full-time painter <laughs> with a studio in Berlin. So yeah, three years ago, I decided to, uh, to start with my painting career, to be full-time, not a graphic designer, but an artist. I stopped all the commissions um, that I used to have uh, as an illustrator and graphic designer. I ran the studio and started to sell my painting. Before the pandemic started, I was doing really well selling my paintings. Oh, yeah. Finally! <laughs> so before the pandemic started, I was doing really well selling my painting, participating in exhibitions and so on. But of course it's changed. So now I still paint and work as an artist, but I also teach uh, lettering and calligraphy and do illustration and YouTube in English. <laughs> And I am really happy with it. So guys, welcome to my journey. I am really tired and I have another meeting in 30 minutes. I need a break from English. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye! I know that the thing... I know that the... the, the, the I'm... I know that the thing... I know that this thing <sighs> I can't do it anymore it's too stressful I just can't I have a back pain and I need to go to buy a food for this cutie thank you oh. okay let's finish it